I love this noise. So that's what they are. There's really not much to see there, but that's how they're packaged up. The thing about bones is that they have a whole life cycle before me, and and then when I start giving attention to them, they have another cycle. I like dig them out of compost piles, I clean them, friends give them to me, and um, they, yeah, they take on a new life in a different context, which is exciting. I love about making things that l large scale that um, I love I love making things that are large because you have to negotiate the size of them in their meaning with your own physical body there's something that you know you have to respond to it in a different way than 2d work and I love making things bigger than myself because I can't make them alone so many incredible people in this community have helped me a lot of people have delivered bones to me Farmers let me come to their farm and dig in their compost piles and dig up my materials. perpetual light and we got two sides on which is amazing and then we're gonna put a third one on and then I'm going to put the bones in and unwrap all the bones so that they're suspended inside and then put the final panel on I think we should like do it in one motion, so I think we should place the ladders where yeah, they're going to go first. Three, one, I used to paint and draw, but I'm, I just love working with materials, and I love sculpting an empty space. That's why I really love suspending things. It's like there's so much possibility in all the space around us, and it's like, oh, like, I don't need a wall or something. I just need a ceiling. I need something to suspend something from, and it can exist in this emptiness, this, like, air space. Um, and that's, that's beautiful to me. I'm not really doing anything other than putting something in a context for people to notice. Um, these like beautiful structures that are underneath things that we don't usually see. There's blood in the belly of the audience. With this piece, um, I've been thinking a lot about um, putting things into light that uh, are not usually in light. Usually bones are covered, um, but with this sculpture, they're, they're in the light. The thought. 